Picture this. It's 2008. You've just walked out of the cinema and you've seen Iron Man for the first time. You're thinking to yourself, wow, that whole Jarvis helmet thing was sick. I can't wait till that's invented. Fast forward 10 years and you're scrolling through Facebook and you see a smart helmet advertisement. You're thinking to yourself, man, that is going to go really well with my boss lifestyle page, my lease to caddy and my $199 suit from Connor. I need to get one. You click pre-order. Guess what, son? You've just been scammed. What's going on boys and girls? It is your boy Temp Sits and today we are going to be talking about helmets. More specifically, the scam that is smart helmets. Now, I understand that the idea of a smart helmet is really cool, all right? We all saw Iron Man, we all thought it was sick, we all wanna ride along and have Jarvis feeding us instructions, showing us things that are happening to us while we're on the road. It is a sick idea, however, the smart helmets of 2020 are not that. And I'm gonna to prove to you in this video why they're not definitively. And then I'm also gonna show you how to make your own smart helmet out of whatever helmet that you've got. All right, so like I Man, when you think of smart helmets, you think of VR almost display that alters what you're seeing. You think of being able to feed instructions. You think of live updates while you're riding. Now, unfortunately, see-through smartphones aren't quite there yet, right? We're a few years off. They were, they're working on them, but they're not there yet. Instead, right, it seems the definition of smart helmet is Bluetooth intercom, maybe a camera, sometimes a heads-up display. And when I say heads-up display, I mean heads-up display, right? So Cena have launched their smart helmet and it is just a helmet that comes built in with Cena voice comms, right? Now voice comms have been around on bikes for years. Cena have been making voice comms for helmets for years. So, so according to them, putting that voice comm on your helmet makes it a smart helmet, which means that anything can be a smart helmet and as such, nothing is a smart helmet. And with everyone super, <laughs> no one will be. On the other end of the spectrum, you've got helmets like the Scully, which A, doesn't exist and didn't get retail produced. And what they do is they try and provide a heads up display for you. Unfortunately, what you picture is a heads up display that shows you things happening. And what you actually get is a little display similar to what Google Glass did many years ago that Google dropped because it's just not realistic. And the thing is, if all you're gonna have is a little display at the bottom of your helmet that you've gotta look down to look at, you might as well use something like this, right? Mount your helmet to your handlebars, look at your phone. You can buy handlebar mounts for your phone for really no money at all and they come with built-in wireless chargers so you wire them up to your bike put your phone in it's charging you didn't even have to worry about your screen being on all the time whilst you display gps so you're good to go you you've effectively avoided having to have a physical thing in your helmet that means that you can't replace your helmet because of the the outlay cost by putting your phone, which everyone has, on your handlebars. Now, if you are in Australia or even anywhere in the world, you might've heard of Foresight. They are making what they're labeling the first smart helmet. Once again, I like what they're doing with pushing the envelope of helmets and helmet technology and everything else. I think that's really good. However, I just don't think that that is the most efficient way of making technology upgrades to helmets, right? So the Foresight helmet basically has a voice intercom, has a camera on the front in the chin bar, and then it also has an LED notification display on it. I think there's a couple, of, it lights up a couple of different ways, and that's basically it. I think they, the retail is 1300 bucks. They did pre-orders for 750 bucks, I'm pretty sure. However, it was over a year ago that people put those orders in and they still haven't got them. They were told they're getting them in January. It's now 
the end of September, they still don't have them. And they like to point out that they're not like Scully. However, Scully didn't really get any helmets out of people. And so far, Foresight haven't got helmets out of people. Now that price, $750 for a helmet with a voice comm and a camera and a little notification bar is a good price but that's an introductory discounted price to get the product out there and also they still haven't seen the helmets yet so my issue with that is that you can get better quality out of doing that to any helmet and you also have the ability to be able to upgrade any of those components but also things like the camera aren't just a camera for your helmet right I'll explain what I mean. All right, so bear with me now as I show you how to make your own smart helmet. First part, number one, find something that you can mount your phone to your handlebars with. That's important for your heads up display because your phone is gonna be the best piece of technology that you can have because they're all so powerful now. This is just a cheap one that I've put together with different parts. Just buy a wireless charging one off of eBay. That's what I'm planning on doing. I've had them in the past, they work mount your phone to your handlebars. Now you've got map functionality uh, and a charging phone, so it's not gonna die whilst your bike is running, right? That's sweet. Second, get a helmet. Everyone's already got one, you need one to ride, so there's no additional outlay for this. You've already got a helmet, use the one you've got. Next, a Bluetooth intercom device of some sort. Got the Santa 20S, it's quite old now. I've used the cheap eBay ones before and they work fine. You can get them interacting with your phone and what that means is you can answer calls, you can talk to your mates while you're riding and you can also pipe voice instructions from your phone to your headset so that's integrated. So now we've got two of the three parts. We've got a heads up display being the phone, we've got Bluetooth intercom. Lastly, camera. Now as you can see here, I've got this cheap eBay mount for this put helmet. This is a bullet lane splitter. I've cut it up a little bit and I've zip tied it on because, you know, quality. But what this does allow me to do is mount a GoPro to my chin bar like so. This is the one that I use currently for my videos. It's a Hero 4, which is very dated. It's got a Cena backpack, which makes it quite a chunky boy, but that means that I just use the microphone from my Cena to have it all connected. This is what I'm gonna to move to. Hero 4, we've got the Hero 9. They're actually sort of similar sizes with these Bluetooth packs. The Hero 9's slightly bigger, but you have to wire up an additional mic with that, which is a whole thing. I'm waiting on parts to come for that. But we're just gonna use this for the moment because it's nice and clean, connected to the Cena. Right, and this is what we do. Plug it in, screw it on. There we go. Look at that. You've got your camera on the front, you've got your headset with your voice comms, and you've got your phone on your handlebars. Congratulations, you now have a smart helmet that does the same things that the top of the line smart helmets that can't even get made yet have, right? You've got all the same functionality, except guess what? You wanna use that GoPro when you go surfing? Just pull it off. You wanna go film anything? Pull it off, pull it off. I'm pulling it off a lot, aren't I? You can use that GoPro for that. The Cena, you can buy the cheapest one on eBay. You can buy a Cena, which is a couple of hundred bucks. Still not a huge outlay. So your helmet you already had, you can get an old GoPro for a couple of hundred bucks. You can get a, a Bluetooth headset for a couple of hundred bucks at the most, and you are set. Then, in a year's time, you can go, oh man, I don't like this helmet, it's getting old and yucky, that's what helmets do. Bam, new helmet, pull the parts off, put it on the new helmet, voila. New GoPro comes out like this one. Okay, sweet, well I'll keep the rest of the stuff, keep the helmet, just outlay for the camera, voila. And you've got better production quality in total. Uh, and then the heads up display, your phone, you're gonna upgrade that however you upgrade phone. Phones are cheap or expensive, whatever you wanna pay, but you still need your phone to run the software in these smart helmets anyway. So it's still reliant on your phone and you're gonna have your phone there anyway, so skip, skip doing that, build your own. 
But, right, let's say, let's say all of this too hard, too expensive. Here is what you can do, right? And this is gonna blow your mind. Let's say you don't have money to buy a camera. You don't have money to buy a Bluetooth headcom. All you've got, a Bluetooth intercom. All you've got budget for is nothing. You've already got a helmet, you've already got a phone. Now this is janky. There are better ways of doing this, right? You could mount a GoPro mount to the back of your phone, but for an example, got my S9 here. They're a few years old now. I can mount this, right? Trying to eBay mount, so tight. Mount this. Ugh, that's yuck. Mount my phone to the front. I've now got a 4K action camera that I can see a display on. I can put my headphones in, wire, run my headphones from here into my helmet, in my ears. Headphones have got a mic. I can now record videos with in-helmet audio. I can take calls. I can Bluetooth talk to people. I can put maps up there. I do literally everything without an outlay. That's janky as hell and pov spec, but it's possible. What I'm saying is smart helmets aren't quite there yet. Don't waste your money. I've been Tempsits. Make sure you subscribe. Tempsits out.